Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone. Welcome to our class, reading and writing class, grade 6. Today we'll be studying unit 4, lesson 3, standing tall. From page 262 to page 274. As always, we start with the vocabulary. Now, entail, it means to include as a necessary step. So, entail it when something is necessary to do. Empathy. I'm quite sure you have heard this one before. Uh, like the word sympathy. As it said here, the definition, empathy means the ability to imagine and understand how something, how someone else feels. You can see the two girls, she shared the sympathy with her. She feels, oh, she's crying, she's sad. Now, endeavor. Endeavor the same word as try. As you can see, he's trying his best here. So try hard to do or achieve something. Extensive. Large in space or amount. Benefactor. It means what? A person who gives friendly aid or charity. Indecision. See, look at this picture. Inability to decide when you you cannot decide. See, he has many choices, so he cannot make his decision. Tentative, uh, tentatively, unsure, uncertain. Multitude, a large number of people or thing. Now, let's start. This is the weekly concept, standing, standing tall. We start with this essential question. When are decisions hard to make? Can you answer this question? Now, let's look at the video. Standing tall. When are decisions hard to make? Making the right choice can be tough, whether it's picking players for your team or selecting a healthy snack instead of one you know isn't good for you. Starting a research project involves evaluating which source material is best for the topic. But perhaps the most challenging decisions of all are the ones that find us picking which direction to take in our lives. Thank you. Look here. As we said before, before you, you start reading, always please look at uh, look at pictures and captions. Look at this picture. See, this is what is it? Uh huh. As you look at the picture, you can tell. So, as you see here, that is the treasure treasure in the attic. So, the room that they are at, it's it's the attic. Now. What is the general? First, what does the word genre mean? That's true. Genre, it means type of a story. Drama. Drama like in movies, plays, series. Okay. Treasure in the attic. Genre. Drama. Treasure in the attic. Cast of characters. Liz. A 12-year-old girl, Emma, Liz's cousin, age 11, Mr. Snow, a shopkeeper, yard sale customer. Okay, have you ever found a treasure? Is that possible or only in, in fantasy and uh, unreal stories? When you make a decision, when are decisions hard to make? Let's start reading. 
please start reading then i'll provide you with the <laughs> with the uh, audios inshallah uh, you i will send the audios inshallah to uh, the group same here always before you start reading please look at the pictures and captions as you finish reading please make connection make connections talk about the decisions that the characters both past and present find difficult to make talk about what you had to consider at a time when you made a difficult decision to summarize let's look here please comprehension strategy what does the word comprehension means excellent it means understanding we have explained this one before. Let's listen and I'll explain it in details. Summarize. Just as you would for a story, you can summarize a play to help you understand and remember the most important events in the plot. Pause after reading each of the three scenes in Treasure in the Attic to review key plot events. Find text evidence. Reread scene one on page 267. Identify key details and use them to retell in your own words what is most important in this scene. Scene 1. The attic of Liz's house. Liz and Emma are kneeling. Emma. Looking through a box. We'll never get through all this stuff. Liz. We have to. I need 25 more dollars for that new bike. My dad says we can sell at a yard sale anything we find up here. You can keep half of whatever we make. Emma, coughing. I know. I just didn't realize it would entail breathing in so much dust. Liz, with enthusiasm. I don't think anyone has looked at Grandpa and Grandma's stuff since they moved to Florida. There's a multitude of treasures up here. Emma, be on the lookout for a pair of pearl earrings. Grandma says Great Grandma forgot what she did with them. You're supposed to inherit them since you're the oldest heir among the grandkids. Liz, what? Okay, theme. What does the word theme means? This is a, a skill of comprehension skill, of understanding skill. Determine the theme, the general message. What is the writer or the author is trying to say? Or what does he want us to understand what is what is the message that he he or she wants to deliver okay listen theme to determine the theme or central message of a play pay attention to the dialogue and stage directions think about what causes the characters to say what they say also consider how the characters may have changed by the end of the play Find text evidence. When I reread scene one of Treasure in the Attic, I think about what effect Liz's hopes for buying a new bike may have had on her decisions later in the play. The girls' reactions to reading their great-grandmother's diary also helps me understand the characters. Graphic organizer. Detail. The reason Liz seeks items to sell is that she wants to buy a bike. Detail. In her journal, Great Grandma writes about her decision to give her earrings to a friend in need. Caption. Use the character's words and actions as clues to the theme. Drama. Treasure in the Attic is a play, a work to perform on a stage. A play is written as lines of dialogue to be spoken by actors, has stage directions to indicate setting and action, may have long sections, acts, and short sections, scenes. Find text evidence. Treasure in the Attic is a play in three scenes. Stage directions in italics tell where each scene... Now, drama, as it says here in Treasure in the Attic, is a play. A play, as I said before, like Shakespeare. Uh, the, uh, Shakespeare was what is one of his, uh, like Romeo and Juliet, was one of the famous play of uh, Shakespeare. Uh, 
Now here it's written as lines dialogue to be speak uh, to be spoken by actors. So it's written in lines. So uh, it will be uh, for um, what to actors to act. So to read in a dialogue. So has a stage direction uh, in uh, that indicates setting and action. Setting means the time and the place. May have long section act and short sections scene. See, this is the scene that we say like scene one, scene two, and these are what we call them stages. Homophones, I'll uh, please read this at home, but I'll make I'll try to make it um, short and clear. I'll ex explain it in examples. Um, when we say homophones, the words that similar in sounds but different in spell spelling and meaning, like sale, sale, like big sale, uh, like offers. Sale here when you sail by the ship, the same here, air, air, which, uh, br uh, bread and bread. Uh, this is to produce of a spring, bread, what we eat. Bread means like hoof also. Okay, now writing section. Write about the text. Write about the text. I responded to the prompt. Imagine it is October of 1936. Write a flashback scene between great grandma and Anna. Anna. Flossie, I cannot let you help me like this. Times are hard for all of us. I can't let you make that sacrifice for my family. Flossie, it would be so sad if you left. Please let me do something. I can sell some of my jewelry or give it to you to sell. Anna, thank you so much for your concern, Flossie. I will miss you so much. Flossie. Then let me help you and your family. Let's say no more about it. I'll do something. Okay, thank you. I want this would be your homework, inshallah. It would be added uh, on, uh, at the group. I'll send you the link. It would be your homework to write um, a short play. It's not supposed to be um, a play. It was like short dialogues, three or four dialogues between actors. This, inshallah, would be your homework. And don't forget to answer according to the weekly plan, the, the, the practice book and setting. Inferences. I use details from the play to decide what else the characters might say to each other. Point of view. I concluded the scene by identifying Flossie's point of view. Thank you very much. See you next week.